What's up guys? Welcome back. Well, today is a special day and not just because we're back from hammers, but because today is my mother fucking birthday. That's right guys, today is my birthday and I'm pretty stoked. I am getting older and older every single day. It's terrible. But not only is it just because it's my birthday today, but today we're gonna do something a little bit different than we normally do with um, razor stuff and adventuring and all that good stuff. Today, we're putting a lift on this thing. That's right guys. Um, I know that I've talked about it a little bit in the past, but uh, in previous videos, but we sold the van that we had and uh, I picked up this thing. It's a 2015 Duramax and um, I mean, look at it. Totally looks like a grandpa truck and we're gonna knock that off and only reason why I say it's an, it's a grandpa truck just because it looks like it totally does right I uh, a little thing happened yesterday I went to the the bank take care of some stuff um, like I said we just got back from hammer so I take care of some stuff and I had some guy parked behind me in pretty much the same truck. And this man was white haired, probably late seventies, if not eighties. And he's like, Hey, nice truck. And, uh, that's it. I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't take it anymore. I went to four wheel parts picked out a little just a basically a leveling kit for this thing because I don't want to do anything crazy I don't need a big lift I don't need anything fancy just something to knock the grandpa off of it and that's what we're gonna do and uh, so stay tuned guys we're gonna go ahead and put a little lift on this thing and I'm gonna take you guys with me hope you guys enjoy it just a little different than what I normally do so stay tuned and we're gonna have some fun What's crazy is I'm not really the type of guy who cares too much about vehicles. I mean, a vehicle is a vehicle. As long as it's a truck, right? Um, but I usually don't care about cars too much. Do I like driving nice cars? Yeah, I like driving nice cars, but... Or even a car... Sorry, this thing beeps for everything. But, I mean... I think it's a thing that every guy should own a truck or drive a truck and it's just one of those things but not everybody drives one and I get that but um, I've never owned anything other than a truck I think it's a amazing thing and, uh, and what I'm trying to say basically is I usually don't care if I have the nicest truck or nicest vehicle or anything like that and I and I had it. I had a 2018 um, Denali HD. This thing was like basically my ultimate dream truck. I had it. I loved it. It was an amazing truck. Um, and we decided to go a different route. And we said, hey, let's buy a Sprinter van and convert it and do the whole nine. And that's what we did. We, uh, we bought a Sprinter van. I converted it. And... I had a lot of fun. We had we we adventured so much and did so many different things, and it was good. Come the time when I actually I, I lost my job, and it's just an added expense that we basically just did not need. Um, I was uh, making pretty decent money at the time, and that got cut to basically a tenth of the size with me you know losing my job and not being doing anything and just basically living off living off savings and it sucks but I'm taking this time to make videos for you guys um, I have a lot of fun doing it and obviously that thing right there I absolutely love that razor and I love spending time with Taryn and and doing cool things and and, and going places and especially now that we're going to get into racing and stuff I just I think it's so cool I just met or was talking to somebody else the husband and wife racing team and 
you know I, I, I think it's amazing I think a lot too many people were out there actually do it so oh yeah that was pretty cool um, that's totally what we're gonna do um, given maybe a race or two that she probably won't be navigating for it's a lot of pressure and I get that and if you're not used to it it can definitely be nerve-wracking so but anyways back to the truck situation I after that old man um, had uh, said nice truck to me it just one of those things was like okay well <laughs> you know I, I, I wasn't I wasn't too fond of this truck when I bought it I just needed a truck like right then and then just because we're headed to hammers I needed something to, I needed a tow vehicle and honestly with the whole coronavirus stuff and it being the end of the year um, there was zero trucks in on the market I mean they're way overpriced and just not not what I was into um, and I found this truck and uh, I don't know a white truck is not my my thing, but it is what it is. And basically, I didn't like the wheels on it, so I knew that was getting changed. And I just, I, I'm, I'm excited to get this done. Uh, it was kind of like my birthday present to myself. You know, I put all my hard work and efforts in, into building that van, and a lot of time. I mean, it took me almost a year to actually finish that thing. And once that's done, I sold it. <laughs> I sold it for a little bit of a profit, not huge, but I did sell, sell it for a profit. I was able to buy this truck and, you know, a lot of the goodies that you've seen me install on that thing, well, besides the ones that were, you know, obviously uh, given to me to review and things like that. Other than that, that's why you've seen so much progress on this Razor recently, and that's because I sold that van. Um, out with the luxury and in with the necessity <laughs> I had to make some sacrifices which sucks but you know you gotta do what you gotta do right but uh, anyways let's get this thing in the garage and start wrenching got the thing all jacked up it's on jack stands and um, what we're gonna do is uh, what we're gonna do is basically replace the upper control arm the spindle um, put in new torsion keys and obviously a new shock and things like that it's pretty simple it's not nothing crazy um, I'm hoping it doesn't take too long but uh, I don't know. we'll see how it goes <laughs> well, I'm gonna basically piss off my neighbors because I pretty much live in a damn retirement community I mean everybody here is gets pissed off if you make noise and I'm gonna sit here with my air compressor on wrenching on this thing they already hate me as it is because I'm always working on stuff welding something and I'm that guy in the neighborhood uh, this is not a retirement community but they treat it like one so I'm gonna piss some people off rip this thing apart and have some fun I'll throw it in a time lapse for you guys nothing crazy it probably gonna take me all day so I'll do little spurts here and there and show you guys the end product and I don't have wheels for it yet I have to pick those up today or tomorrow so I'm going to roll around on the stockies for a day until I can get these things installed. But uh, I'm pretty stoked about them. Uh, but first, let's put on some music. What are we going to listen to today? Let's put on Pandora. Let's see what's on here. That's not going to work. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to go and put some music on. Answer this phone call. It's my mother. She's saying happy birthday. So I'll talk to you guys soon.
All right, now they got that stock stuff off. This is the new, the new spindle going in. And then obviously it's a lot bigger than the stock one, a lot beefier. And then this is the upper control arm right here. Still has a, a ball joint upper control arm, which isn't what ideal. I really would rather have a, a uniball, but um, you get what you can afford, right? So that's kind of what I can afford right now and what I can get, and uh, that's what I'm gonna have. So I'm pretty stoked on it. Can't wait to get this thing installed. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. It's pretty simple to get this stuff done. I mean, if you have any kind of mechanical knowledge at all, you guys can do it too, which wouldn't be hard. And instead of, I think they wanted to charge like $1,500 to install this lift. I mean, I'm going to do it in probably four hours. <laughs> so easy. So, and people that charge you $1,500, yeah, they can do it a lot faster, but they're going to do it all day. And, um, you have some basic tools, you can do it yourself. I figured I'd give you a little update on what's going on. Sorry, when I was in the middle of doing the time lapse, uh, it seems like the battery died. So, well, I put the batteries in the charger for a little bit, grab myself a little beer because, well, it's my birthday and I'll do what I want. And I'm going to sit here and finish this truck. Most people are out partying for their birthdays and I'm wrenching. Yeah, got to do what you got to do, right? This is my birthday present to myself. So, well, little update. This side is all the way done. We've got the spindle in there, upper control arms in. Everything's pretty much back into place. Steering, everything's up on this place. Shocks in there. And on this side, we've got, uh, let's see. So I don't have very much space working in the damn garage. I can't wait to get a shop. Uh, so this side, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of tough, but everything's off. I got the spindle and upper control arm off. Time to put in the spindle. And upper control arm the new one in there throw the the um or whatever those called the little torsion bar keys throw those on there and then this thing should be done not too shabby i mean it's taking me if it wasn't for filming and all that stuff and taking a break because i had phone calls for my birthday stuff and you know everybody's bothering me damn it but <laughs> Anyways, guys, well, I'm going to go ahead and put this thing back together and uh, shouldn't take me too long. So stay with me and uh, we'll get this thing taken care of. Sorry, I'm a little dirty, a little sweaty. And that's it right there. Let me see if I can get a light on here for you. It's going to die, but that's it right there. So we replaced the spindle, upper A-arm, and then... I still have to add the um, torsion bar keys, but those take two seconds. But that's it right there. I just gotta fix up these things right here, the the brake lines and stuff, and that should be it. I mean, like I said, this lift isn't very extensive. It's very small. It's only a, I think it's a four inch lift. So just enough to clear some 35s. Nothing crazy. I wanna keep it simple and you know, like I said, just give it, knock that grandpa off. <laughs> the grandpa will look off of it and that's about it. But uh, I think that's it for me today. I'm going to put on these stock tires and unless I can go to the tire store right now and get them put on, which I doubt they're going to let me do it because I think they close at four. But I might have to hang out with you guys tomorrow. We'll uh, put this thing on its wheels, head over to the tire store and... Um, get these wheels and tires put on and then you guys can let me know in the comments below what you guys think I'm stoked you guys are here to see it I know it's something a little bit different than what I'm used to or what I usually post but uh, yeah I thought why not you know give you guys a little day in the life type thing and this I don't just do razor stuff I do everything uh, I build also I build custom vans so uh, that's something that I do on the side not something for this channel but uh, do stuff like that maybe i'll start taking you guys along with that one but uh for now uh that's it for me for this video i am going to not for this video actually you know what? i'm gonna take you guys tomorrow so hang out i will see you tomorrow and then uh i'll finish this build 
All right, guys. I'm going to go enjoy some birthday festivities. And, uh, yeah, have a good time. See you tomorrow. What's up, guys? Well, we are here right now. And we are... I just got done with the lift. It's there. It's chilling. And you can see the wheels out there. Those are the wheels that are going on. I'm stoked. Can't wait to get it on there. And uh, these guys will take care of me pretty, pretty quick. So I'll uh, give you guys an update once I'm done with it. And uh, see you soon. Well, guys, it finally happened. I am so stoked. So yesterday, I ended up putting the lift on, as you guys saw. And today, I finally was able to get the tires and wheels that I had ordered and picked out installed. And I have to say, I am beyond stoked. Look at these guys right here. These here are the XT series. Uh, I think it's they're the grenades, the 820s, I believe it is. I am I am stoked on these. I had them on my last truck. I'm, I'm pretty excited about them. And then I went with a uh, Nitto Ridge Grappler. Um, this is a 295-65 on a 20-inch wheel, which is basically like a 35 and 35 point like two or something like that. I don't even know. 35 foot one. Yeah, I don't know how that works out, but I am stoked. I had these same tires on my last truck. I had them on my uh, van, actually, and they lasted pretty good. Even with the weight of the van, they held up really, really well. So um, I am going to be running these Nittos until, you know, I need a bigger tire or whatever it may be, but I'm pretty stoked on it. And um, what do you guys think? I mean, much better than that, that stock Grandpa Star wheel look. I mean, what, what a difference. Um, I'm pretty excited. I didn't want to go with like a six inch lift or anything big because I don't really care about that stuff. And, you know, I just wanted to have something that I can put a bigger wheel and tire on, make it look a little bit better. And I have to say that it is amazing. It transformed it huge. And um, so, yeah, I mean, it doesn't even look like the same truck anymore. <laughs> I'm so excited because after that little debacle with the old man <laughs> yeah I know I'm old I just had a birthday yesterday but being 38 is just a little yeah I'm 38 that's crazy huh but I'm getting old and uh, well, 37 I don't know I'm, I'm, I'm up there and um, every time I tell people how old I am they're just like what really no way I'm like yep I am but uh, uh, I'm stoked about this thing so and um, other than that, I'm glad you guys were able to watch it, and I appreciate you guys watching and subscribing. I mean, that's amazing. I, I mean, so far, I've, I've jumped like 300 subscribers or 200 subscribers just in the past like month, and that is amazing. I, I can't thank you guys enough because I couldn't do it without you guys, and there's so many more videos to come. I have so much King of the Hammers footage that I haven't even been able to go through because I've just been so busy. Um, I wanted to get this lift on before we have a huge storm coming in today. It's supposed to start raining for the next like four or five days. So, got this in here now. Since it's going to be raining, I'm going to be doing some footage. So, uploads are coming. Um, I didn't, like I said, I didn't quite get as much footage as I wanted to just because we were busy with the race car stuff. But, hope you guys enjoy it. And, um, more stuff with this thing. I mean, we're going to be doing, um, some more trips I, I can't wait um probably moon rocks moon rocks nevada is probably gonna be our next trip or sand mountain or something like that also in nevada um and then i think the first race is in march vora series i know they have they have a like a short course race at Glen helen i think like in the next week or two so but that's short course stuff's not me i'm a desert racer so we're gonna be doing that, which I think is in March, which I have a lot more updates I need to do with this thing right here. Um, 
and I mean I have, can't say enough about how much just the, the upgrades that I have done that you guys have been a part of and have seen so far I mean they've really transformed the car tremendously and, and, and tremendously and uh, I mean the seats from Simpson I mean those things handled so good I mean I couldn't I can't tell you enough how much of a difference it actually made it was crazy like some of the stuff, the g outs we hit, some of the whoop sections that would normally just beat on our back and beat on our bodies, like butter. I mean, it really makes that much of a, much of a difference. And I can only imagine what it's gonna be like once I get some suspension on this thing. Um, it's gonna be so awesome. I can't wait. Gotta go through the car, see what bent, see what broke, and see what's going on. I mean, we took, we took some rocks. <laughs> <laughs> there's rocks the trailing arms are pretty dented and pretty messed up and so it's time to upgrade those things um i, I don't know how much longer this thing's gonna be able to to go on stock suspension so we're gonna have to do something about that pretty soon um other than that i'm happy you guys are a part of this and i appreciate you guys subscribing and those of you that have subscribed i mean i can't thank you enough thank you thank you so much i, I really appreciate it and i mean there's plenty more videos to come and I can't wait to take you guys with me um, not just obviously building and install videos that we have uh, racing stuff that's gonna be happening that's pretty amazing there's still more race car stuff that needs to be happening to this thing I mean we still have to add window nets and you know all the stuff that's, that needs to be for safety um, hopefully you can get some people on board and I've already talked to people so we have SMB filters and you know a lot of cool people that are on board and they really are liking what we're about and um tara and i will have a have a good a good race season i already know it i already know it. i mean i have a lot of knowledge from previous you know i've raced the baja 1000 a handful of times um i've been in i've built pre-runner trucks i've done all that stuff just never with utv so having the the knowledge of desert racing in my, in my under my belt uh, really really helps and so utv is a new thing for me but since i have stuff doing uh, racing trucks at 100 miles an hour you know what i mean <laughs> which is a lot faster you have to be pretty quick and to in order to react um i think we can put this thing on the top um uh, we're gonna see how it goes um uh, best in the desert vora uh, maybe some dp4 races i'm talking to some people so they're gonna help me out introduce me to some people and we're gonna be learning so much so Stay tuned, guys, and we'll uh, catch you guys in the next video. And like I said, so much more King of the Hammers video coming your way. And um, I'm stoked to take you guys with me. All right, guys, we're out of here. <laughs>